day number three of water fasting. Um, let me start um, by talking about my sleep last night. I didn't get that uh, restful sleep. I woke up after, let's just say, after every three hours and yeah, it wasn't uh, one long nap, a dreamless slumber. It was uh, filled with dreams and everything. And that's probably because of the fact that mine was uh, thinking because overnight I could have gone through ketosis or something like that, you know. So, yeah, I did have a bit of heart flutter in the morning. But as soon as I had electrolytes, so everything was a-okay. Uh, so out of all the four electrolytes potassium is actually something that you need to keep an eye on because your body doesn't save potassium that much it can extract sodium magnesium calcium from your bones but potassium is something you gotta watch out for and you can just feel it if you're into water fasting so that said today was a very busy day and I think ideally you should be water fasting when you're on a vacation or taking a break from everything. But um, yeah, it uh, although even though it was busy, my energy levels were even higher than uh, day two. So I managed to do everything uh, successfully. There was a bit of stress buildup and I could feel myself getting a bit just teeny bit intolerant teeny bit aggressive uh, could be because of the electrolyte fluctuation or maybe that's just the uh, you know uh, older inner programs trying to <laughs> catch up to the new me but uh, yeah i controlled those things and did realize that they, these aggression these uh, intolerances uh, are futile feelings one can handle things very neutrally if they if they just take a breather for one second that's all and yes yeah, so that was quite quite good apart from that you know it's eight o'clock almost eight o'clock here and i feel fantastic energy levels are still a-okay uh yeah so one thing I would recommend if you like ever attempt, I don't recommend you doing water fasting at all without guidance. But ideally, if I want to do it, I would do it during vacation and uh, in, uh, in nature, you see, like a place which is full of trees uh, where you can breathe properly and doing it with your mask on all the time, especially uh, the kind of work that I'm involved in entails you know, you have to deal with a lot of gas fumes, uh, a lot of dust and everything. And your when your body is uh, devoid of food and nutrition, tries to, you know, grab uh, energy from anything it gets, uh, be it water, be it air, whatever it is. So, yeah, so inhaling those dust particles or gas fumes, actually, and they go straight to your head. And, my, my, yeah, I, w I would say I felt a little bit, little bit uh, you know I would say weirded out because of that you know it went straight to my head and I, I felt yeah yeah but I realized that I have to invest in a better mask but then again like if you invest in a better mask you're breathing more and more you know carbon dioxide so yeah ideally I would, I would next time around I would do it uh, when I'm on a break you know <laughs> I'm on a sabbatical. So, yeah. And that said, it was a wonderful day. And very productive day, I would say. And so far, no urge of having food or anything. I feel fine the way I am. I would be. I'm looking forward to continuing this uh, fast for another couple of days. And let's see. And when I feel completely healed all right okay stay tuned for more and if you got any questions just put them down below i'll see you tomorrow bye bye